so welcome. I might say some weird things in the next part because I was planning on the next part being the first part. I, I'm kind of recording this in bits and then I'm going to shove them together. But anyway, I'm on a new account. I just beat four stores, which will be right after this. Kind of confusing, yes, but uh, you can see I, I don't really have any skills. I just got this skill, but I'm going to explain maybe what are some good skills you want or what good inventory you want. Because you're probably not starting from level one. Maybe you are, but I'm just showing you can do this. You don't need specific things, but specific things will help, like a silencer. So, there's two weapons you want to have. The best weapons for stealth, uh, concealment-wise, you want to look at this value is important. It's concealment. Higher it is, the better. You want the G18 secondary, and for the M M16... No, you don't want M16. You want the you want the P90, which is where it's right here. P90, 30 concealment. You can see it's like it is the highest value around. You don't want something like a saw or whatever. Um, yeah, you want uh, you want the P90 and the G18 because those will offer you the best, uh, you know, concealment value. You want higher concealment. You want to wear the suit, obviously. Wearing armor makes you get spotted faster, and it makes you slower, which is detrimental. You also, you probably want an ECM jammer. There's skills that will make the ECM jammer much better, but I'm going to get into that in a moment. This is pretty much the setup you want. And if you plan on possibly messing up and wanting to be able to shoot people, definitely you'll see there is certain heists that you kind of need a silencer for. That would be like R&B Bank. Some of them are like ECM Rush, kind of. You have to go in and kill everyone. Uh, pay attention. That... Uh, the... The oil filter, it's really cheap. Some of these, though, are not going to be good for you. You can see the micro 9mm is by far the best here. It's pretty expensive, but you should be able to afford it. It doesn't go away. You purchase it, and then you can put it on whatever gun you want. So uh, you only need to buy one, really, because you only want one equipped at whatever time. So... Uh, the only way you can get rid of it is if you sold the weapon with it on it. I don't know if that would actually delete it, though. So, skill-wise, you can skip this part if you already kind of know what you want. You might want cable ties for more cable ties. So you have to kill less people if it's one where you're going in and you're capturing everyone. Which is R&B, which is it's pretty much required because you have to drill. Pretty much most heists... With drills, you gotta, you know, kill everyone, or hostage mostly everyone. Halt is a very useful skill. It gives you more pagers, because you can hostage two guards instead of killing two guards and having to answer their pagers. If you're with a team, Charisma, I always forget to use it. It could be a useful skill. It's a... 80 per, like, almost double speed for 30 seconds, and all you gotta do is yell at them, so, pretty useful. Most of these top mastermind skills are more useful and loud, so you don't really want them. Sometimes I get this, I don't know if it works. Some of the skills don't work, keep that in mind. Additional cable ties, also good if you've got it. Yeah, I already said that. Um, Enforcer, the only thing you might want is Pack Animal, everything else, useless, it's all loud skills. Um, here, if it's a drilling one, it, and you have the skills for it, you want to do this. Also, keep in mind, you can reverse skills by right-clicking. If you didn't know that, it's a great thing. Use it all the time. Uh, drills, so there's three drill skills. Drilling Expert is really good. You also want, um, the, can run 10% faster, that's pretty useful, it saves you some time, definitely if it's a long drill. 
Uh, ghost. Most of these things are stealth, kinda. So it's useful. Uh, this. I don't know why it's there, but... Ace, you get 75% lower cleaning costs, which is a huge decrease. Because 100% would be no cleaning costs, so... 75% off. That's really good. Uh... A lot, some of these are increasing movement speed. Useful. So, uh, your stamina regenerates faster. You sprint faster. Your movement speed is faster. All these things are usually good. This is just you getting shot, which isn't going to happen in stealth. No one can shoot you in stealth. Uh, there's a couple things that will increase your, or de decrease your detection and increase your concealment. So, with melee weapons, you get... So, this is two bonus concealment. Uh, yeah, uh, this is gonna... This will actually make... If you have... I didn't realize that. The silencer before, we didn't have multiple different silencers. Now, we, there's a whole bunch of silencers. So, if you have the micro 9mm, I didn't realize this before, you'll actually get plus one to silenced weapons. So... Silence both your weapons if you're using us, and you'll get to one, which you'll probably get to anyway, so it's not really that important. Uh, this is two free concealment points. That might get you right under um, the one threshold, and you'll get to one detection rate, which is usually where you can just run around and do whatever you want, and no one seems to notice you. Uh, this is useful. These two skills, both ECM boosters... 25, longer jamming, uh, I don't know if that one, I don't think that works, I don't think it does anything, but whatever, this is double time, you get two ECMs, pretty much, um, uh, and then you get another 25% increase, and you can also stop, it also stops pagers, which keep in mind, it doesn't, ECMs don't stop cameras, so, you can skip past this part, if you didn't already, and get right into me just doing the heists. So, good luck with that. I'm gonna see you later, I guess. Ah, first. This is the first clip. And I've got a basic class here. With, um, 4%. Uh, whatever, so... This is the default class. You can get it too. You already have all the stuff for it. Now, uh, this is a pretty easy one. Uh, you can actually... It's still a glitch. You can... I might not approve of it, but... You can still run... When... You're... Um... Masked up. So what you want to do... Is you want to get your mask on. You want to make sure you don't have it insanely high. You want to loot these cash registers. So... You don't really... When you have low detection, I can actually, I'll show you how to, uh, if you skip to the end, I guess, or I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that, but, uh, in a bit, I'll show you how to organize your inventory properly. The weapons matter, and you can see this is pretty easy, I'm just running by these people. As long as you don't run into them, you're probably going to be okay. Just go to each cash register. They're all highlighted. And you should be good once you grab them all. What it's going to do is... Yep, yeah, you just got to get the cash registers. You can see I only have 14,000, so... You don't even need to get the 30,000. You could keep collecting at this point. But I'm not. So. This is. This map completed. Uh, I actually. I, I kind of put this on myself. But I'm going to need to. So I'm going to. At this point. I just hide here. Or wherever else you want to hide. I'm just going to hide here. And eventually the car will come down and will park there. Or in the case, maybe it parks over here. If the civilians are starting to spot you, just run away from them.
they can't really spot you. See? It, it takes them a while to spot you. So, you can just go hide behind something, and then you're good. You have a lot of time to figure it out. Uh, so it's either going to come um, behind here, it's going to be right over there, or I'm just going to let them spot me. Um, or it's going to like park right here, so you can see it's not that hard to get where you want to go. So, um, good luck. You can see I don't have any skills, I don't have anything. I'm just going to go for it, and I just completed! So, usually when I'm playing this, on my main account, I bust in the front window and steal some art, which is, frankly, a pretty, like, you know, aggressive strategy. I might not suggest it, considering you gotta break the window and then hostage someone, so... It kind of puts you on a time limit, but it's just, uh, I find the best way to handle stealth is just be real flow with it, you know? Just be calm or whatever, don't panic. It's all okay, it doesn't matter if you get caught. What well, does matter, but, you know, whatever. So, there is cameras. If you have a low enough detection, you can still grab paintings without the cameras being able to spot you in time, which I'm going to see here, if that's even possible, you want to avoid killing people and getting, you just want to avoid getting caught because it can make things messy, so cameras, we're going to pretend this is Nightmare, I guess, so I won't be shooting out cameras, uh, because there's also another implication, we're looking for red stickers, so... That camera's probably gonna... No, it's not able to see me. So you can either get out of its, like, spotting area. So I can just run. You just want to run where you want to go. And make sure you're not running directly into someone. You can jump over them. And that works just fine. You only need three pieces of art. So just keep running by them. Uh, you should have plenty of sprint. You can just take a break if you need one. You want to go for the paintings. If someone is walking right at you and you think you're going to get caught, like if the bar is getting real close, you might want to... It, it's not worth it. So, like I said, be chill about it. But just don't be so chill you get caught, you know. So, like, uh, I don't feel good about that. And I wait, and he moves, so, you know, all good. I'm going to keep going. Those models are actually from uh, Valor, which is cool. And my third painting is right here. You can also do a little trick where you go around, but you can see I didn't even realize those people were there. And he's about to spot me, but he's not gonna. So, obviously playing this at a very, at least that one's from Valor, Playing this at a very high detection was going to be hard, but you can see I've got three bags. I beat in this and hopping right into it again now. Uh, there is no music, but I'm right on Shadow Raid, which you might not have expected, but it's actually another heist that you don't really have to think about. Oh, like, I mean, you don't have to rush in and kill everyone, so I'm going to run over here. Be careful. Make sure your detection is low enough to actually do this. I didn't buy the thermal paste. Not because I forgot it, but because it's money and you don't really need it. You don't actually need a ton of bags. You need five bags. You can get five bags, you can get out. You can loot the rest later, which I might actually end up looting the rest. You can jump over people. And I'd say the not safe zone would be, you know, like, uh, just about there is, when it starts getting that color, it's not safe, you want to take cover. So, I 
I can see pretty well he's not spotting me fast enough that it's an issue to me, at least. So at that point, you see where it's like kind of yellow, you want them to stop spotting you. If you're getting up there much faster than I am, then you gotta be careful about that. Now, of course, the loot's... There's a lot more loot in there. So, if you're just looking for loot, and you're not looking to just complete the map, then, uh... You can go in with the thermal paste, or you can just run in without. I do say it's real nice having the thermal paste, because you can transport loot out of the sewers. Uh, there is more containers, but I might just run in here quick. Watch out, there is cameras. So, they're kind of an issue. On Nightmare, you're not going to be able to disable these cameras. So, they are going to be a very much of an issue. Be careful in doorways and stuff. Like, it, running into people, like, touch... When you touch someone, they notice you a lot faster than doing them. Those keypads are going to be hard to hack. Uh, I'm just kind of showing the inside. The stairwell is usually pretty safe. Um, I'm just looking to grab some possible quick loot up here. Well, there isn't much loot up here except for the hack pads, which you have to be careful with. Ooh, that was a close one, kind of. I gotta be real careful. This is it. Don't do this, because if he turns around, you can get caught pretty quick says the exit's this way, and it did not lie. I'm glad I didn't go downstairs. There is a basement. And that is an example of probably something you don't want to do unless you can do it. Just do what's in your ability, and don't run away every time someone looks at you, because uh, they're not going to catch you every time. I've got three bags. I've gotten one a minute, so not that bad. There's random. There does seem to be random gold bars in this map. There's one inside the two. It usually spawns always in the same spot. We got another Bloxy Cola. Uh, yeah, I said one every minute. So that would be four bags. I'm gonna take it back here. No one should be able to see it. With low detection, you can run past all these guys and. That's pretty much how you do it. You just get low enough deduction, you can run past them all. If you want to challenge, you just got to be hiding. Or you wait for them to pass, and you just got to not get spotted if you have high detection. Which, this is really just, uh, if you run with high detection on purpose, um, good for you. Although... I would think you would already have, um, I think you would already have this achievement, but if you're running, if you're running with, uh, high detection, and you're just screwing over your team every time, then I, I don't know if I can back that, but I can see, it's actually nice to play with higher detection, because it actually adds... You know, challenge if that's what you're looking for. That's just a little fix. But uh, I'd say I have all the bags now. And that's pretty much the strategy for being this pretty fast. You can loot the containers. You can run in there, grab a nice crowbar. They're usually There's bottom level ones. If you look, you will find all the spawns. They I could show the spawns, but I need to go through this quickly. I hope you understand. It's not going to be super detailed. I'm going to try to go into as much detail as I can though. So thank you. I am continuing this. I'm on a 40 with my mic new micro 9mm so I can shoot my gun and no one hears. And I'd say this is probably a, one of the easiest maps this heist for a simple reason. It only needs two bags. And you can just run right over here. You can see no one even saw me. Like, it wasn't I just ran past them. It's just they didn't see me. This map actually has pretty good loot, but... No, the reason it's so fast is because... Um, 
the high scores have already beaten it by now. So that that's what makes it so easy cuz it can be done so quickly and very easily. So uh that you that there's spawns in there, spawns in there. Usually you'll get at least one in here in this building, sometimes two. Uh, you just defuse the detonator, you pry open the lid. This soon, it, it usually, I forget when the first one blows up, but by the time you're out, which is now, um, because I've already got in two bags, so, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, be careful with that, um, if you're going in there, there is a guard in there that, like, turns around. So you just have to have low enough detection or kill him so you can take the bag without him noticing. I did go on very hard just so I got a bit more money to make it easier so I can buy an ECM. Or e EMC. I forget what it's called, but um, you can just skip through now if you don't want to see the rest of this. But that's pretty much all the heist has to it. There's going to be a lot of things in there if you're comfortable looting it. But, uh... Thanks for watching I'm doing this. Uh, first time I forgot the skill. Make sure if you're doing this solo, you need a hostage skill because there is more than three guards, meaning that you need to hostage some of them or else you just can't complete the heist because, well, you can't complete its stealth. So first thing you gotta do is you kick this ball for fun, I guess, and you also get a medal from it, which I missed out on because... I already got the medal because I already kicked the ball and I've already recorded this. Pretty much, uh, this is a rush or whatever you want to call it or methodically go through. You're going to need a silencer. You're going to have to kill everybody. That's how this works pretty much because there is drilling and when there is drilling, there is... Um, people who will hear the drill, so I'm gonna make this faster and simply, simply murder the civilians because I don't feel like not murdering the civilians right now because I don't want to have to hostage them all. That's harder. It is gonna be easier. Once you run out of cable ties, you do want to kill them because otherwise um, you're gonna have a bad time with uh, they can get up if you don't have if you don't cable tie them so you might want to do this with multiple people so you can all get this stealthed so there is 10 maps I'm gonna get into that there is codes for the stuff I'm gonna kill the civilians but I have to hostage the guards You'll see here. I just don't want to bother with um, not hostaging them because I've used my three pagers. I'm going to start drilling actually. But you got to be careful if there is some left. So I'm going to just start the drills now so they speed up. And you can, well, actually, no. You just want to make sure all the hostages are cleared out. Don't do that. Uh, there's loot here. You don't need it. There's just a crown. You can get all that loot, and once you've killed all the civilians in the level, and all the guards are, the two guards are hostaged, hostaged, and the other three guards are killed and pan pagers answered, you're all good to go. The heist is pretty much complete. You're free to do whatever you want. I've beaten the heist at this point. Oh, thank you back in at R&B Bank and for this one it is like Diamond Store which I just did in the fact that you kind of have to rush it so the first thing you want to do is well you check sometimes the key card spawns there which it is not uh, you have to disable cameras that's how these things work so you can get up here and we can oh I don't actually have chameleon so I kind of messed up there I can still beat this but for this, you want to have a couple of things. You want to have chameleons, so you can pick up the keycard up here while still 
while not taking off your mask. Uh, it was fine there. You also want to have, like, the hostage for the guards so you can catch them all. You want to have some drill skills, maybe, so you can catch them. Uh, you're going to have to end up killing some civilians. I'm just going to murder them all, but, you know, whatever. Um, because you're not, there's a lot of civilians in this level. So, you're going to have to end up killing a couple of them, you know. So, watch out for that. Um, you might want cheaper cleaning costs or something like that. Good ECMs is also a good procedure. You need a silenced weapon. So, you can actually get through the heist. Um, be careful, they can kind of spot up into the windows. Uh, I don't actually see much guards here, which is a good thing. I can just aim and shoot all of these guys. And I can take them all out. And once they're all out, then you're pretty much safe. If there's no one to spot you in the level, then no one can hear you either. So, once you want to clear that parking garage, but pretty much... I, you get the idea, you kill all the civilians, you go up, look around, and then you're ready. There is a certain radius of where they can see. You can see, there, like, there is a guy over here, but he can't hear the drill. The reason you have to capture them all is because they can hear the drill. So, unless that was changed, pretty sure they can, they can still hear the drill, so... That's what you gotta do. You gotta murder them all. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about them because otherwise they're just gonna get all spotted anyway. That's all for this one. I could show you looting, but that's just a waste of your time because uh, I, the, you know what to do after this. You just go in, you grab the loot. You get more loot if you bring the saw so you can chop the deposit boxes. And move on to the next I'm here at Diamond Store, which is kind of similar. You are going to have to take a lot of people hostage here. Uh, there is a, two spots for the cam room. It can be either be right here, which I'm going to check by masking up right here. Get my silenced weapon out. You have to kill the camera guy. If you don't, you can see there's no cameras here. There's only a guard. You can leave that guard alone because he's not going to do anything, so don't alert him so you can save a spot. Now, I am playing on normal just to save money, or else I'd probably run out of money because I don't have terribly a lot of money. So I'm going to pick this door, and the next, that if he's not in that room, he's for sure in this room. That's where all the cameras are going to be. You kill the guy, you have two pagers left, and preferably two hostages left like guard hostages, that's a very useful skill to have in stealth. You might figure out that there's too many guards for you to do it solo, and that extra two is what you need. So, that guy is not the manager. Don't bother alerting these guys, because they probably won't get alerted. All you're doing is breaking glass in this map. You can see this is another guard. I'm actually going to have to capture all the guards, so I might as well take him into my office, which is the, the room with this guy's dead body. Um, I'm just going to shove him in here, actually. So, just be very, if you want to be careful, just be very methodical, you know? So you can wait for them to come up here. The manager's path does actually come up here. Which is how you disable the sensors, which is with the the manager's key card. It's uh it drops off him when you either hostage him or kill him. That's the manager right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna murder him. I'm gonna hope I didn't shoot anyone. He drops the key card. I'm gonna keep killing people. You don't really you don't have to kill people. It's just easier, so if you want to get this done quicker, which I'm trying to do this quick, you might have to body bag it, and the sensor's right down here. So now what I can do is I'm actually going to kill this guy. 
I might not really have to worry about civilians now. The guards are the only one who, ones who can see the glass, so there's a guy stuck down there. I have no body bags. I'm gonna kill this guy. Poor guy, stuck in the bars. So, now I'm pretty safe. The thing is over there, the van. No one's going to be able to see anything, really. Or, they're not really going to be able to spot you, other than civilians who see dead bodies, or whatever. If you have enough body bags, it doesn't really matter. I uh, only need six bags, so... You want to bag these jewelry bags? You can tell they're bags because they're kind of, they, they got a bigger stand. The other ones are just like rings and stuff. It's usually like, I don't know, like a necklace or something. You, you'll see. It, it looks like that. It's like a bunch of watches or something. Like that. I only need six bags. So you can beat this heist pretty quickly. I'd recommend stealth on this map. It might be annoying at times, I don't know. They, they don't even notice the dead bodies for some reason. You can see it's usually like multiple things. So, civilians, not really a big issue for the fact they can't really... The, for the fact that, um, well, they don't have pagers, for one, and they, um or whatever, but, uh, they can't see, or they don't find broken glass suspicious like the guards. So the guards are kind of mandatory to take out, but you get the idea. I've got in enough bags. Let's move on to the next one. Just keep repeating that process. Control the hostages. You can take them all out if you want at that Oh, weird. The other one was open. Anyway, we're hopping right into row bank. Which, is in, like, with most maps, except really Shadow Raid, which you can, I, I suppose you can probably still do anyway. Uh, you can do this two ways. You can rush them, or you can be, you know, more sneaky about it. Like I did last time in Diamond Store. You know, ooh, I found another key card right here. I still don't have the thing. You want to run right to the back. I got lucky. There's usually going to be two key, there's going to be two key cards. It's usually going to be like this. There's going to be um, one on a guard and one hidden around the map somewhere. So like here, it, I've seen it at the front before. There's our guy. Going to blast him. Um, Got to answer the pager now. Uh, there's usually not that many guards. Usually like three. That's a small bank, you know only hire so many guards. I'm going to throw his body on the roof. And pretty much we're good. You want to get the key cards as soon as you can. Time-wise for opening the vault. So you're going to do... Oh, yeah, a little trick for turning civilians whichever way you want. You can poke them in the back. And uh, they will look where you poke them. So you can get them to go wherever you want. What's going to happen is as you go through, or as you're waiting for the vault to open, you're going to periodically, so I can just wait here and kind of hide. No one's going to know the vault's opening or anything, or they're not going to find that body either. So it's this phone. It'll have like a dot over it or whatever, and they'll say it's ringing. You'll hear the ringing. That's kind of how it works. And from time to time, as the vault's opening, He's going to be like, uh-oh, I overlooked something. They're taking calls. I mean, I don't know why this guy can't answer the call, but you just got to hit that. So don't go running off and miss the phone call, or you'll get caught. And that's pretty much the whole heist. The rest of it is waiting, getting in the vault. You could use a saw, but keep in mind, if you use the saw, everyone's going to hear you. So you might want to go with that other option if you plan on using it. Van's right over there. You bag the loot. Bring it over there. This is actually a good heist to stealth. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of loot, but like the reason you would stealth it is the loud. You gotta go through the sewer, and that kind of takes a little while. So this is a bit easier sometimes. So under okay. So this is there's two last heists kind of. I'm 
pretty sure, yeah, it does count mall raid. It, you don't need to do mall raid, but it says it's not stealthable, but it is. You just need to have a full crew, and it, it's kind of complicated. Not really. Pretty much, with a full crew, you have just enough um, pagers to get all the guards, which means you can stealth it because you can disable the cameras, and that's kind of how it works, but... Uh, there is the DLC, and it is counted in the achievement, so you have to do the DLC to get Ninja, and that might be an issue considering where... Yeah, this. It costs 1.9k Robux, which you might have no Robux, so there is actually two solutions to this. There is codes, and there is the Discord, where you can find people that you know, uh, have it. You can find it. Discord's actually pretty cool. You can t chat there about the game, maybe get, get some tips from people. Uh, other stuff, you can find people to play with. You can find some friends to play the game with you. <laughs> I didn't realize this is actually created a while ago, eight years ago. Dang, man. Um, I didn't realize how old this game was. So, uh, if you go on the uh, on his on his Twitter, you do con command F or control F, and you do the search function, and you type code, and you can find codes. So there's two codes. Uh, favorite. It gives you a golden mass casino thing, and if you go down, there's if you just big bank is also a code so because I can't do this I'm gonna I actually I, I own the DLC on my main account but of course most people probably don't have the DLC but you can do big bank an extreme brick bank contract actually yeah it's called brick bank now and I'm gonna go up and the other code is favorite. Um, kind of weird. That that's the American spelling. I you I I'd spell it like this, but um, because I'm Canadian, that looks weird to me. But that gives me Golden Mask Casino. So if you even if you mess up, you can keep using the contract. You can reuse it as many times as you want. So perfect opportunity for it. Do it loud. Do it quiet. Do it whatever. I'm going to go right into a GMC right now. And if I fail, I can just, you know, look, see, so you just got to, it might say, oh, it requires map pack. Just go up to extreme. And then you can do it. Golden Mask Casino. So skills you want to have for this? You don't need any guard skills because you don't need to get caught. It's a regular stealth. You don't have to kill anyone unless you get caught. So there's quite a bit of steps to stealth, which is actually kind of cool about this map now that I realize it. It's got a lot of steps for loud. So the heist is really cool. So uh, to unlock the vault, you have to find a code in multiple places. This is going to make it very difficult to find the code if, you know, what's not, uh, you end up, uh, doing whatever. You don't need explosives. That's for loud. There, there is items you can pick up that are part of the loud heist, but you don't need this. The first code is in the social room. You don't have to get these codes right away, but, um, if you get them before you need them, it still works, so it doesn't really matter. Brickman is important. You're going to need him, so keep an eye out on him. You first want to... Well, I'll go in order. So, you're going to first head to the archive room, which is back here. Well, actually, yeah, you want to keep an eye on Brick. If he's back in this area, it's the perfect time to do him in, because... Uh, there's less people back here and stuff, so it's good. Uh, watch out for the cameras. There's two, usually two in the archive room and other stuff. So, you go in here, you search the shelves, eventually you're gonna, uh, get it done, and there's gonna be another blueprint over there. 
So, make sure you have a silencer, I guess. You can also just hostage brick, so... You are gonna have to hostage one person, but other than that, um... There's no, like, you have to kill this person or whatever. I might just kill Brick. Um, you just keep searching these shelves, and eventually you'll find the right shelf, and it will give you the blueprints, which you fax at the fax machine over there, and after faxing, you he will tell you, um, like, that Brickman's room has a vent, that goes to the thing, and you get his room card that allows you to go into the room, which is on the upstairs level over there, and once you're in the room, you can gas the, you can sleep and gas uh, the guards in that room there, and I actually have my name on here, which is cool. Um, I'm not on the cool kids though. I, I didn't realize that was the thing. I, I, I don't know why, but I thought... You can also shoot locks. Don't know how much faster that is. Sometimes you'll get a camera there. I guess I'm lucky. Usually there is a camera there. Um, yeah, I'm not a cool kid, but... I, I'm just a random kid who sent their name and I got on a board. I, I thought that was just someone who had their name, the cool kids. Oh yeah, you can harness this power here for a bit of cash. It's a secret, I guess. Okay, now I gotta find Brick. Hopefully, I think he's probably back here. He should have hired a guard. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill him. Uh, kill him. I'm gonna grab the body. Um, room 201. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the archive. Or the delivery room. No one can really get in here. Um, it tends to be if... Yeah, if someone, uh, if you open a door, if there's not guards by that door, they're not going to go through the door. So, like, if it's a closed-off area and there's no guards in it, there's not going to be guards walking in. So, this step is kind of important. You want to do it. You can do it at any point. What this does is it disables the cameras. Ooh, which is actually pretty nice, so... Now the cameras are disabled because the guards are all sleeping on their job. Uh, slots can actually give you a ton of money in loud and... Or, not loud, um... But yeah, they can give you a lot of money if you win. Watch out for the metal de detectors. That can ruin... It's surprising how many times people have just... Like, I play with random people and they run into that, so remind them. Uh, this is the locker rooms. You have to pick lockers... And one of the lockers will have a little piece of paper in it, and that piece of paper will be part of the code. So you'll see, you look in the social room, locker room, and the admin room. The admin room's right here. It's the manager's office, so it's not the admin room, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you come in here, there's some money, and right here is the document. Now, let's say I got the document from the lockers, because why not? Now you go in here. This is the camera room. They're all sleeping like babies. Be careful about people walking back. They're not a big issue, but, you know, little issue. Uh, this is the lift, and this is where you put in the code, and you would be able to access all that juicy loot, load it up on the lift, and then you can get the loot all up here, and take it to the van, and that's pretty much the rest of the heist. Be careful for guards and people walking back here, definitely if you're training the bags and you have them going back there, so good luck with this heist. You may think I'm crazy when I'm about to just leave it, but, you know, I own the heist so I can just do it whenever, but if you don't, understandable, just do what I said. <laughs> just do what I said. Um, if, let's say you failed. You just reset, and we'll redo the heist for you. You can do, redo it as much as you want, so just make sure you don't have to leave in the middle of your time doing it, or you won't be able to do it again. Ah! We're going into Brick Bank, which was actually made a lot quicker to do, which I'm glad of. They made the computers easier to hack, which 
kind of ruins the purpose. I made it show where it hacks, but which computer you need to hack. But I'm way happier with that because it doesn't take forever of waiting now. There is a lot of drilling now. I'm probably going to skip quite a bit of this just to save you time because there's no point you watching me doing nothing really. So you want to go in and you can walk by these guys. Well, preferably run. Uh, I would have stayed masked at this point because there's a lot of people here. You probably want to not do what I just did and just, well, be careful because they can't see other levels. There's going to be a key card here. You're going to grab it and you're going to head to the other side of the bank and you can see I almost got caught so this was a bad idea. You can do this all in like stealth mode until you get here. Then you want a mask and you go in here and you're going to see the cameras and the guy. You don't have to kill this guy. He has a family. Just leave him alone. You just put this key card in and he can't notice for some reason the camera system has been shut down. Uh, and now you go to where it's showing the computer you need to hack is. It would have taken me a long time to hack all these, but you hack the computer and it's going to take a little bit, I think, and it's going to give you the code. And, oh, almost got caught there. Got to be careful about that. So now you're going to get into a pretty safe zone. Uh, there's only going to be occasionally someone walking down here. So you're pretty safe here. Uh, what's going to happen is that's going to um, take a bit and it's going to give you the code. You put in the code and then during stealth you'll have to re-enter the code from time to time. And during loud you'll have to do the fuse box. But we're not talking about loud here. I guess I just did talk about loud. Uh, you might want a silencer or the hostage ability. So you're going to put the code in here. It's eventually going to open. Um, yeah, there's going to be lasers. When it opens, those lasers won't trigger the alarm. And if they do, I am terribly sorry. Please tell me. Please correct me. Um, but unless that's been changed, they do not trigger the alarm. You can run straight through them. And no lasers trigger any alarms. They're either solid or you can just walk through them. So, this door will open, there will be two guards, which you want to kill because they're going to be an issue. Um, they won't be able to hear the drill, but they're going to be an issue when you're going out. So you can hostage them or you can kill them. Don't kill them both at once, unless you have an ECM that can stop their pagers. Because if you kill them both at once, you can't answer both their pagers. Unless you have two people, because then you'd both answer them at the same time. Otherwise, that doesn't really work. So you go in here, you go to the left, there's a guard. Like, it, like it's kind of like this. There's a guard there, and there's a guard there. Or kind of like this more. So guard there. Guard there. And you walk in here, or whatever. Uh, there's a big old vault. And what you do with that big old vault is you place a drill on it. Don't be afraid of drilling because this is a special kind of drill that no one can hear. And look at that time lock. It used to be five. Now it's only three. And that just looks so good. I mean, it's just not what I'm used to, but nice. I haven't played it sped up yet because uh, I kind of... Uh, never mind. So, pretty much what's going to happen, like you said, you drill, you're going to get in another layer, like this, authorization is needed to continue time lock, it kind of does that. Um, you can see people are going to come in here, they creepy hair. Uh, you're going to drill the big vault, once you get through, there's going to be gates, you got to drill all those gates, and after that, you just carry up the loot, like this, pretend I have loot. You might not be able to jump like that. You probably should be able to jump out like that, though. Cameras are disabled. You go out this fancy door that leads to the roof, which the loot, or the evac like the helicopter that picks you up, will eventually land right there. And I'm kind of taking long at this, because 
This is the end of the video. Oh, yay. Woo. So, I will answer anything you want in the comments, I guess. Uh, I might have left some stuff out. You might want to know about it. Uh, you might want some help with whatever. Like, I could um, tell you what some tips or whatever. Just ask anything you have questions about in the comments section. Uh, this, it should, at the moment, it seems pretty up to date. Uh, they, there's going to be new heists eventually added, so this is going to become outdated whenever they add a new heist, because they probably will, but... Hopefully, if you can beat all these heists, you can beat those heists, too. And, uh, good luck beating those heists. But if you do this quick enough, you can get Ninja right now. And if there is a new heist added, you can see, yep, see, I was right. Um, I'll kill one and hostage the other. And start a drill in. Well, Pagers actually, they don't have a lot of time. Gotta answer that boy. Uh, it's actually cool. This is, like, um, you can actually view your in-game mask. Um, well, I'm, uh, you can no longer view your in-game mask. Because I'm no longer on the camera. Great. Ooh, I'm in the vault. So, thank y'all for watching. This is edited. I usually don't edit. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I it, It's kind of like I'm streaming all the time, and that's cool, I guess, right? Because it's like, I usually don't do two takes. I just do it all at once, and it's yay. I don't... No one, no one really tells me anything about that. Whenever I ask stuff, no one, no one really responds. It's like, I want feedback, but no one's ready to give it, so, um, okay, no feedback for me, then. These are nice chairs for three chairs and two guards who stand. Nice. Um, I just realized it's pretty nice, but, um, I didn't even set up the drill. Anyway, like I said, thank you for watching. This video's pretty much over. Uh, you want a good class? If you want to make this the easiest for yourself. Whoa, whoa, that's cool. Why are they doing that? Look, look. Um, whoa, they're, they're, they stay there. Yeah, the the mark stays there if you don't look at it. Weird. I, at least that's what it seems like. Bang, bang, bang! <gasps> Who could have murdered this man? <gasps> Who didn't murder this man? You're not. You saw nothing. Y'all saw nothing. This is kind. I don't know why this is fun, but it is kind of fun, man. We're gonna get caught, aren't I? Um, yeah, this is the end of the video. So, you can stop watching now, ha! Huh? Like I said, I'll give you anything you want in the comments. Uh, they are going down when I'm shooting. Not sure why, though. I said, go down, boy! Because I'm pretty sure that's a skill, man. They're just going down when I'm shooting. Weird. I guess that skill don't work. Weird. I'm gonna shoot, 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 shoot. Sometimes you get weird effects, which is, um, kind of a bug. 
but it's like a regular bug, I guess. They told me it was um hitting like the spawn boxes, which makes sense, but you know it adds flare or whatever. Pew! Pew, 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 pew. I'm gonna get some cool guns later. I realize I'm just adding time to this video. Uh, thank you again for watching. I hope this helped you. Good.